Tonight, there are some new efforts underway led by a nonprofit organization to reduce the number of drownings in our state. News Channel 3's Princess Johnny Steverson is joining us again live in studio. And Princess, you spoke with the co-founder and executive director of that group today. I did Andy and his name is David Benjamin and the issue is very personal to him after he almost drowned in Lake Michigan 14 years ago. Since then Benjamin has spent time working with different city governments and the families of victims who drowned and died in Lake Michigan as a result of choppy waters and the lack of lifeguards. This is David Benjamin. He is the co-founder and executive director of Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project. It's a nonprofit that works with family and friends of Great Lakes drowning victims to advocate for water safety. Today in Beverly Shores, Indiana, Benjamin did just that. We're doing a bill signing ceremony for the Lake Michigan Rescue Equipment Act in uh, Indiana. And essentially this bill will require uh, rescue equipment for the public on the public access points of the beach, as well as on the open shoreline of Lake Michigan in Northwest Indiana. Here are a few pictures from the ceremony's turnout. There are families smiling and holding pictures of their deceased loved ones who lost their lives as a result of drowning in Lake Michigan. This one is of Kathy Kocher. She lost her son Matthew back in 2013 after he drowned in New Buffalo. Emily was just a phenomenal person. Um, she made the best out of every situation. She was extremely responsible, intelligent. Uh, she loved animals, the water, and Corey. This is the voice of Lisa McDonald. She works with people like Benjamin after her daughter, Emily, drowned. I just remember throwing everything in my arms up in the air, screaming and running out the door and running, running over somebody on my way out. We spoke with her over Zoom in May of last year when reflecting on her daughter's life that was taken too soon. It was August 8th, 2022, when Emily, who was only 19 years old, was pulled from the choppy waters of Lake Michigan in South Haven. She drowned alongside her then boyfriend of five years, 22 year old Corey Ernster. Lisa and Benjamin tell me Ernster's father, Steve, was at today's bill signing ceremony in Indiana. It comes just days after he donated two beach safety robots, which coincidentally are named Emily. It stands for Emergency Integrated Life-Saving Lanyard, and its job is to help keep a struggling swimmer afloat until an actual lifeguard can get to them. For a drowning person, flotation is a difference between life and death. Lisa and Benjamin tell me Corey's father has donated one Emily to New Buffalo Beach and the other to St. Joseph Beach in memory of the young couple. Both Benjamin and the parents of Emily and Corey will continue their water safety efforts. In fact, they're working on a bill right now called Water Safety Education. It's a push to add new programs in Michigan schools that educate kids about water safety, the same way kids would be educated about a fire drill or shelter-in-place drill. Reporting live in studio, Princess Johnny Steverson, News Channel 3.